The reason for AJ Styles' Raw absence this week has been revealed. Meanwhile, a WWE superstar has got a new ring name. And finally, Kevin Owens has referenced his own contract situation live on this week's Raw. More on that in a little bit. Yes, as promised, we are back with more news, including that ring name news that Ross teased at the end of the last video. Oh, yes, indeed. It's going to be exciting. But first of all, we need to talk about AJ Styles, who was mysteriously absent from Raw, not just this week, but last week as well. Omos has appeared on both shows, kind of doing what he'd be doing anyway, but just without AJ Styles there. So this week, for example, he was brawling with the Street Profits and Riddle, but... AJ, AJ was nowhere to be seen. Now, Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Radio has mentioned what he reportedly uh, believes to be the reason for Star's absence. What is that reason, Ross? This is the direct quote from David James Meltzer, Meltzer himself. AJ's got a non-injury medical issue, is what I was told. I'm sure he's going to yell and scream about it at some point, but that is what they said, a non-injury medical issue. Now, I assume that he's going to yell and scream about it at some point will reference the fact that any time somebody inaccurately, incorrectly reports an injury thing about AJ Styles, he, he's doesn't hesitate to just put them right, does he? I understand where the mentality maybe comes from. Maybe yeah. it's been ingrained in him to not, um, to, to basically not not be injured, not not to say that you're injured, when, especially in his youth, looking for bookings left, right, and centre. Right. I can understand where that possibly comes from. No, I just remember like when we were back at the old job, yeah. and then we put a news article out, and it was wrong, and he slid into the DMs, just going, "If you want to get the report right next time, just give me a tickle." Yeah, he didn't quite say that. He just said, "Message him next time before you report some bollocks." Yeah, which I understand. Like he wants to make sure the reporting on him is, is accurate. Oh. Um, I don't know whether I hope Melter doesn't mean that because it seems a bit flippant if somebody's dealing with a non-injury medical issue. I know, it seems quite irresponsible quite of Melzer to go like, oh, well, we could be reporting something that's inaccurate. I'm sure he'll have a go sure. over it. Right? Yeah. Oh, you unless sassy he Melzer. Means, unless he means in character, screaming yeah. and shouting about it like a heel on the mic. I don't know. Uh, but obviously it goes without saying that we wish AJ Styles well. Hopefully yeah. everything's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I assume he'll be back soon, but there's no way of really telling. His last no. match and appearance was on October 21st at Crown Jewel. Um, where he and Omos unsuccessfully challenged RK Bro for the Raw Tag Team titles. I guess for now, Omos is just going to keep ticking along and doing what he's doing. Just beating up fools on his own. Yeah. I mean, Getting massive pops here, then everywhere. People love massive Omos. Oh, he's huge. He's so big. Yeah. So. He's so big. But now we move on to the biggest news of the year so far. Okay. Because a WWE Raw superstar had one name and now he has two names. That's very backwards from what we're oh used to. Oh, my God. We're used to Andrade, Cesaro, Many of many Big others. E. Big E. Langs yeah, yeah. Aye. But now, <laughs> Via... Well, I'll let you do the honours because you've been so excited about this. What is Via's new surname? Mahan. 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 That's M-A-H-A-A-N. Mahan. Via is called Via Mahan now. And, and, he, and this is just another example of him being kind of the surprise breakout star from Jinder, Veer and Shanky. Yeah, um, I didn't verify this before we sat down at this lovely wooden desk, but I'm sure that Veer is on his own now on Monday Night Raw, I and Jinder and Shanky have gone over to SmackDown. I, I believe they were separated by the draft, It's yeah. like you checked in your ear there, so I want to Yeah, hear I know, I was scratching my, <laughs> scratching my head. But no, yeah, I'm just getting word now that they are indeed on separate brands. That's yeah. good to know, that's good to know. But Veer out the two, Veer and Shanky. Shanky was obviously very new at professional wrestling. That's why they didn't really have him do too much than just stand at ringside and look menacing and scary. But Veer would do some things in the ring wearing his lovely thing. Yeah. Which seemed very restrictive to professional wrestling manoeuvres, that, if that makes any sense. It did. Um, but uh, it was always encouraging for fans of Veer, rather than Shanky, if you want to pick one over the other, that his ring gear looked like actual ring gear. Yeah. Whereas Shanky wasn't really given proper ring gear. And uh, an interesting note from our writer Jack Atkins upstairs, who notes that Veer Mahan sounds like somebody trying to say Vince McMahon, but with a mouthful of marshmallows. And we tried that, didn't we, Jack? <laughs> Try and say Vince McMahon <laughs> with a metaphorical <laughs> mouthful okay. of... Okay. Sort of sounds like Veer Mahan, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. Maybe there'll be a new sort of Hornswoggle Mr. Kennedy parental storyline in the works and Veer will be revealed as the legitimate son of Vince McMahon. Kevin Owens referenced be. his contract <laughs> no, situation. No, let's just let that sit for a while. No, go on, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Kevin Owens referenced his contract situation last night on WWE Raw. He put the stick in his hand, the stick being a microphone, and he said, what, Jack the Jobber? He said, it might be for three more months or three more years. That doesn't matter. What matters is every single time I'm on Raw, you can believe I will do everything I can to give the WWE Universe something to remember. 
meaning, of course, his own contract, which is set to expire in February of 2022. And there's been no word yet whether or not he is going to re-sign with the company. What do you reckon? What's the man in your ear telling you? <laughs> I reckon this could go one of two ways. On one hand, I'm thinking there's no way that they would have let Kevin Owens say this if he actually wasn't going to re-sign with the company. Mm. On the other hand, Kevin Owens does what he wants sometimes, and I wouldn't put it past him to think, oh, well, if I get shouted at, I get shouted at. I'll say this. It's the old adage, isn't it? It's live TV. What they're going to do? Mm -hmm. What they're going to do? And I like people like Kevin Owens and Charlotte Flair, to a certain extent, taking liberties while they're on TV. I remember Charlotte Flair flipping the bird, doing all that kind of stuff. I'm not referencing the title switch segment here. That was a bit like, ooh, yeah. uh, that was a bit silly. But her flipping the bird, Kevin Owens, presumably, maybe, going into business for himself here. That's very good. Makes it feel more real yeah, and alive. Yeah, go and do it. Yeah. Have some bollocks the wrestlers i'm on your side yeah I, I think honestly if you if i had to guess now i'd say probably will go just because it, he's got he's got all his pals there yeah and um, it'll be for a lot of money and it would and it will be for a lot of money it was referenced by biggie actually um although i'm not sure if this was just a coincidence or not but biggie made reference to the mount rushmore saying there's no room for any more top dogs he didn't say top dogs but big names on raw there's only room for one that's me the wwe champion this isn't mount rushmore mount rushmore the mount rushmore of wrestling being the name for the stable that kevin owens was in on the independent scene with I who think, with uh, i think it was the young bucks, adam, adam cole, cole. The bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah but i'm not certain if that's I, that might have just been a coincidence. Yeah. It's not as if Mount Rushmore is exclusively a wrestling term. Imagine Far from if it. Big E was in business for himself there with Kevin Owens and some sort of mutiny going on backstage within WWE. Let's report that right now as a fact. <laughs> Kevin Owens and Big E are leading a mutiny backstage in WWE. Just hearing that confirmed in my ear. Yes, we are. Right. Well, I don't know if we can confirm that. Moving on now again to uh, more serious news. This one is an injury rather than AJ Styles has reported a uh, non-injury medical issue. But, but an indie wrestler, a very popular one indeed, has unfortunately suffered an injury and his name is Dan Housen. Um, Dan Housen has broken a tibia and fibia. That's the two bones in the shin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that's disastrous. Not um, and is was basically in character on Twitter, staying in good spirits, which I guess is what you can do, uh, is, what you, is what you've got to do in such a situation, saying that he's sure that Dave Doctor is going to try and take Dan Housen's sacks of money. So if you'd like to help Dan Housen curse them, then, and then he's linked to like his Pro Wrestling Tees, which is ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash Dan Housen, Patreon.com forward slash Love That Dan Housen, and Cameo.com forward slash Dan Housen. Um, as usual, channel, of course, being love that Dan Housen. Um, yeah, he was injured at Next Generation, Wrestle Next Generation Wrestling in Knoxville, Tennessee on Sunday and was taken to hospital for further treatment. And yeah, you know, no universal health care in America. He's going to have to get the money from somewhere. Bye -bye. We'll put the links in the description down below and we just wish all our best wishes yeah. to Dan Housen. Seems like a nice man. He's a lovely man. Straight to hell alumni. Yes. Fantastic. Absolutely. Um, so best wishes to him. And finally, oh, no. unquestionably the biggest news of this entire video, The Miz has been eliminated from Dancing with the Stars. This is utterly devastating, and more so on the fact that it arrived, this elimination from Dancing with the Stars on Queen Night. Queen Night. And if there's one night that I thought Miz would excel at, it would, it would be Queen Night. Yeah. Seems like that sort. He could really pull off Freddie Mercury. I imagine George would try and force Queen on. The young Mike, the Miz, when right. he was young. Yeah, I can see that as well. Yeah. Uh, Miz was doing a foxtrot to Radio Gaga. So what's a foxtrot? A fo uh, don't worry, I googled this. Uh, just in preparation, a foxtrot is characterised by, I think, uh, sweeping, like, smooth movements. Uh, it's you got an example there? I don't, stand I don't, up don't there? No, stand no, up, no, 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 not at all. But I know that it's not, <laughs> that it's, um, it's, uh, it's similar to a waltz, but rather than being in 3-4 time, like a waltz is, it's One, in the more two. modern 4-4 four, four time. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, so he's been eliminated along <laughs> with his partner. I can't remember her name, but she was the one who did the Carlton dance with the actor who put ah. Carlton. Oh, yeah, it was fantastic back then. I think Carlton, in fact, won his series of Dancing with the Stars. The Miz isn't going to do that. He was in the bottom two alongside Jojo Siwa, who I'm, who I'm far too old to know who that is. I've I think it's no one idea. of these young internet celebrity types. And she, um, she was voted by all four judges to remain on the show because they saw her placement in the bottom two as a shock from the fan vote. Obviously, she's not as popular as The Miz. Mm. Um, it's sad as well because I was in bed last night and I was looking at my phone and WWE were tweeting out, here's how you vote for The Miz oh, with no. their millions and millions of followers. So it didn't work. It's a shame to see them. He looked good. I saw his, um, is it Pinhead? 
Pinhead. Oh, the Halloween that one. Halloween character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked good on that one. There was another one, which I can't remember, where he dressed up and he looked good there as well. I'm no, I'm no Dancing with the Stars expert, but he looked better than clips I've seen of Jericho when he was on. Mm. I think The Miz was probably better. He seems to have gotten a few weeks in. He's done yeah. all right. But now, unfortunately, he has to sashay away. Sorry, what's that? What's that? Fandango gimmick returning to WWE. <laughs> it's going to be with The Miz. Breaking news to end the video. There you go. How many, how many skits are they going to get out of The Miz about this? I don't know. It'll be until WrestleMania at least. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine him just dancing and then Johnny Drip Drip puts some water on the floor and he slips over? <laughs> oh, that now, that now will happen. That now definitely <laughs> will happen. Thank you very much for watching this oh, news video. Oh, man. We have been Jack and Ross. So Please do funny. leave your thoughts on any of these news, video, uh, news stories, in fact, in the comment section below the video. And stay safe out there. Stay positive and sashay away. We'll see you soon. Or if you want to stay, you can. We've got more videos on this channel. Have a look. That's like RuPaul, isn't it? Mm. <laughs>